child and she checked the sliding glass door. She saw that it was unlocked and found the child floating in the pool and called for help. Bay County Public Information Officer Ruth Corley tonight says the drowning was ruled accidental and says no charges will be filed in this case. The child's parents say they are still coming to terms with what happened. They tell News 13 they appreciate the outpouring of support from family, friends, and the entire community. There is a GoFundMe account to help with funeral expenses. You can go to mypanhandle.com for details. Franklin County Sheriff A.J. Smith tonight warns of a group of law enforcement imposters. Deputies from Franklin and Wakulla counties investigating after a man was reportedly handcuffed, placed into a vehicle, and then released by a group claiming to be law officers. According to the Franklin County Sheriff's Office, the individuals were wearing uniforms and driving a black Taurus, a black Tahoe, and a Z71 when they pulled over the victim Sunday night on Highway 319 about 8 p.m. Smith said that the individual was released and the fake officers issued no citation. They've also confirmed that the individuals were not law enforcement officers. Sheriff Smith warns the public to use caution when dealing with individuals in unmarked cars. If you are stopped by an unmarked vehicle and you're not sure, proceed to an area that is well lit. And if you're not sure about that the person is a law enforcement officer, ask for their credentials and ask for a supervisor. Do not exit your car and if necessary, call our dispatch center. Now anyone with information about this incident is asked to call your local law enforcement agency. A South